Hello and welcome to the Kundalini Podcast. Episode Z. This is Tao. I am Vivek Govind. Namaste. This is episode 119. I'm going to talk about um, sustained excellence and the value of a routine. Obviously, I'm going to talk about uh, my situation post a Kundalini awakening and recent conversations I've had with someone where I'm helping to guide the process for that person. They've had a Kundalini awakening and this person is living with that awakening for the last three years. Same as me, confused, bewildered, not knowing what to do, having a tough time with the dark night of the soul. And then we got to talking and all of my techniques, I'm happy to report, worked wonderfully with her symptoms as well, that person's symptoms as well. And this is so amazing. Uh, over the period of maybe like three or four months, the conversations that we have had and the progress that she has made, along with the progress that I have made, because when you teach somebody, you also become better at it yourself. And uh, thanks to that, those uh, practices have been reiterated. There is a person on the same journey that becomes a companion for you to compare notes and to get better together. So I've been blessed lately. Now, some changes because of my new routine. I got a job and become tough. It's becomes, it becomes tough to get the time to make videos constantly. So, but I try. And today I'm going to talk because there's enough subjects, enough things to talk about. Mainly, uh, techniques applied to other people's process. Obviously, you need discipline towards yogic practices to get to the point of asking for a Kundalini awakening. In some cases, it's spontaneous, like myself and this other person that I'm talking about, my friend. In those conversations, yes, there was a strong religious upbringing and there was a, an inclination towards esoteric things, then culminating in a Kundalini awakening and then not knowing how to handle it. So this person, three years into their journey, got the benefit of my techniques that I have gleaned from 16 years of having this blessing in my back. Now, in the last few days, because of my job, I got some good uh, nurture for my back. I got comfortable um, healing processes like, um, you know, steam room and uh, hot water and, uh, you know, systematic spa treatment, which relieved a lot of my discomfort, made it a lot easier to live with the Kundalini awakening again, which I cannot tell you how much it helps to have the back completely aligned, straight, and now it's just the process unfolding, not me trying to first make the back comfortable, heal the damage, and then allow the process to happen and reveal more amazing truths and uh, great states of bliss, ascension symptoms, not even symptoms, ascension journey bliss is the great state of being that I can uh, describe. It's like, you know, harmony between your working life, your uh, life that uh, likes to do creative things, and your Kundalini awakening, all in harmony with each other. You are one person, unfragmented, and doing your process. So it's wonderful. Now, I had a spontaneous Kundalini awakening. I've said that on pretty much every episode of my podcast. People know this. And then I was stumbling and coping with that process, finding different things, fortunately, in the era of the internet and YouTube. And then I created my own methods because I had to cope with this snake in my spine every single day. So imagine my joy at finding out that not only that somebody who wanted my advice, exactly what was needed for that process was my advice. And all the symptoms were helped in the last four months. And today I had another wonderful conversation, again, talking about a few things that had been discussed, a few techniques that I had asked that person to uh, implement. And today, I got the feedback that it was miraculous, beautiful, made wonderful progress. And that was aligning with the energy, the tips that I gave and uh, kind of course correction that I made. So I'm ha really, really happy today, thrilled. Now, it has completed a loop of teaching somebody the discipline the importance of routine, focusing on the right things that may not have become obvious right away after the awakening, mainly, essentially, focusing on the breath, 
doing alternate nostril breathing positive affirmations the power of stillness stilling the mind bringing yourself in the present moment work is worship like i said in the last episode all of that being made into a toolbox an arsenal so to speak uh, to be used when necessary okay so you're having anxiety start with the alternate nostril breathing you got a bad dream start with cathartic writing and write everything down in vivid detail uh, spot check of anxiety let's do 10 alternate nostril breaths together and then the vibe calms down between two people you go into a meditative state right away you say affirmations you bolster each other's journey together and that was beautiful so i believe that 3 years into the process using the methods and techniques that i have discussed in these videos right here i believe my friend will be at the same level that i am 16 years into my journey much sooner cuz pretty much the whole toolbox and how to implement it along with results outcomes and then feedback to me where i can offer even more suggestions catered to that person and uh, see what works what doesn't and you know get feedback from them so it's beautiful knowing that uh, you know somebody will get maybe in 5 years to the same stage that took me <laughs> with a long slog and a, a lot of trial and error about uh, 12 to 15 years you know i've been stable for the last 3 years in gradually increasing amounts and then finally with the medication i took in the last 3 months it's become even smoother having a job having a routine and for the first time being able to implement all of these techniques in my workplace it has worked miraculously it only brings about good outcomes how could it not you know how could these techniques not work think about what i'm doing i'm emptying my mind being in the present moment every moment that i'm at work i am emptying my mind from walking to the on the beach to getting on the bus and in that journey i am emptying my mind again and being just part of that moment so there are compartments uh, as i have described in this series and other videos there are compartments within the day and then when i am at work i am only occupied with those thoughts and doing things that bring me the present moment that brings me up so then you visualize the outcomes that might come back at you through your actions your relationships with your co-workers your ability to diffuse tensions and uh, create harmony to bring about peace to bring about joy in other people and know that they have the, your support and that you are a valuable member of the team and that uh, you know it's a joy to work with you while you excelling at what you're doing and only for being focused on that at that moment it's amazing along with the medication along with the uh, tools that i have used uh using all of that for the first time and only reaping good rewards bringing back good results constantly adapting because you are only in that moment and only thinking about uh work that day that moment the needs of that day and you have done this from day one corrected any errors and been very uh focused on that task and now it's easier because this has been a habit in your living hours waking hours uh, uh for the last couple of years and it has brought brought great results and now lo and behold other people are benefiting from this but how could it not right you're emptying your mind you're only going with the same things that are needed that day and you're taking away your ego whatever i that you bring in there as soon as you put on the uniform now you are a member of that team and only represent that aligns very well with the selflessness concept of removing the ego that i do with my kundalini process and how the process helps me do that aligns very well with this concept of you know putting on the uniform and what can i do in that situation that best brings about fulfillment to myself the job i'm doing makes my uh, employers happy brings about better outcomes for that business and the customers that's it and then at the end of the day knowing that the fruits of that labor given to god will bring about even better outcomes it's a wonderful feeling <laughs> how could it go wrong now done with god in mind asking god to guide you this time not being too proud to ask for help and then that lends itself to the same thing reflected in your work life you helping your colleagues them helping you creating harmony 
removing any uh, uh, you know misunderstandings miscommunications and uh, creating better work ethics work routines so that everybody benefits things like that which would not have been obvious if i had been self obsessed like i was in the past wanting to stand out wanting everything in under control for you know whatever reasons that is the prompting of the ego ego wants everything else except just what you're supposed to do blend in bring harmony to your job and get better make others better that's it and then leave just taking the good things not taking the bad things taking enough lessons so that you can be better the next day but nothing that adds to the ego just the skills it's just the experiences and uh, it has worked wonders let me tell you so that same thing i passed on to my friend and i get the report back to hey this is wonderful i feel wonderful working here now <laughs> suddenly my perspective has changed suddenly everything looks wonderful so one problem solved one part of the jigsaw puzzle fits in place first i had worked on her dreams and other things now i'm working on the world things and i'm so happy uh, it works for me hey let me see if it works for you yes it apparently it does so i was happy feeling so another thing i would like to talk about is when you make a breakthrough the old tendency why i am where i am and how well adjusted i am is because i know when to be giving in the yin stage and how to be uh you know take charge of things in the yang stage and how to balance those two without misunderstanding the ego for what is the right action at the right time so for example in a team environment being a team player and taking the subordinate role do whatever to help your uh, colleagues and make your boss happy impress them and not being you know outwardly too demonstrative or wanting to grab attention so simple comes from having no ego and being in harmony with your surroundings and doing your best you know taking feedback being receptive to things being said not being insulted by them or feeling angry about them or disappointed at yourself being too self critical or being too cocky if you did work well. and just bringing an even keel mindset which is steady progress at key elements in mind and self awareness lo and behold this works wonderfully okay wow so one more facet revealed that works in common for anybody with a spontaneous kundalini awakening i was happy to find out and so was my friend that i was helping so now i feel that 3 years into the process that person could hope to get the same results as me in 5 years so between now and the next 2 years that person will be at the same level as me just because these ideas being inculcated these spot checks methods used techniques put in place and why those are needed when you have a kundalini awakening what circuits need to be opened up gratitude to the almighty finding joy in small things counting your blessings doing affirmations bringing yourself in the present moment and only being involved in that task at that moment and how to do that with certain techniques practices how to completely release past uh, ideas thoughts trauma anything that is stuck in the psyche and how to release it allow the energy to gently cleanse you align with it and it's nice to see that these methods work universal uh bring about good outcomes and you know the joy of finding out that another person is being helped by you. uh i wanted to talk about these things and report on my progress as well as the progress of uh, other people in my life on the kundalini journey and it's been wonderful things are going really well i hope this was helpful and i hope that your own process for meditation for mindfulness is being helped by these videos peace love blessings Be well.